It certainly has been a soggy day across the wiregrass. Lots of rain moving from the south to the north, really dying off over the last couple of hours as far as the thunderstorm activity and heavier cells. Uh, we did have some pretty decent rainfall amounts for some of us, but mostly cloudy skies will be with us. Heavier rain off in the western part of the area and overnight. Just a few passing showers will be with us, but overall the higher storm chances will be back for us for Friday afternoon. As far as those rainfall amounts, some of us really missed out on the heavier rain, but just outside the area radar estimating nearly three inches of rain an inch in eastern Houston County. Same thing for just about uh, just up the road from Abbeville, almost two inches estimated. We will be adding on to our totals though for the next several days for the next two days. As far as this particular model goes out, upwards of an inch possible for some of us. So we will be dealing with those periods of some pretty heavy rain on and off through at least Monday. And then after that, the rain chances will begin to taper off just a little bit. This evening, we will be left with that cloudy sky. First thing tomorrow morning, it is going to be rather cloudy as well. Rain already developing south of the wiregrass toward the coast. Lots of moisture will continue to ride up from the Gulf of Mexico and then right in the middle of the afternoon hours. That's when we will have those pockets of some pretty heavy rain. And the good news is as the high school football games kick off, conditions will improve. Some showers will still be on the radar early on. And then as we do head into the later evening, clearing out and then even clearing out as far as the cloud cover as we do head into the overnight hours for late uh, Friday night, early Saturday morning, and then we'll have that same pattern setting up with those showers and storms setting up to our south and then being with us here on and off throughout the day. So kicking off still some scattered showers for tomorrow evening by seven o'clock passing showers still around the area. Most of us will be dry at that point and then eight o'clock and beyond. It looks like conditions will certainly be improving. Now those elevated rain chances do last throughout the next several days, especially into Monday. Then beyond that conditions will be drying out just a little bit, but the temperatures overall are going to be staying rather cool below average expected just the upper eighties, maybe a few spots reaching the lower 90s, but this is a nice cool stretch for the middle of August. Then lower storm chances will return next week and then going beyond the next seven days. Those temperatures will return to normal all across the southeast. Scattered showers and storms. We have some strong storms, severe weather for uh, southern Mississippi, northern Alabama as well. But once we lose the daytime heating, the radar will really begin to clear out as we do head into the overnight temperatures lower 70s for us. I think the models cooling off a little too quick for us this evening, but tomorrow we should make it into the 80s by lunchtime and then cooling off as we do see the higher storm chances move through. If you're traveling northward through Birmingham points northward, you'll be hitting some rain tomorrow afternoon into the evening and then same type of pattern early Saturday morning. Fairly dry for us and then it's in the afternoon, basically when we have the peak heating hours when we'll have most of the activity across Georgia, Alabama and for Mississippi as far as the pockets of some heavy rain. This evening, pretty rain cooled air out there. 75 degrees for Enterprise, Dothan and Abbey low temperatures for tomorrow morning will not be much cooler than where we are right now. Certainly not something that we're used to for this time of the year for the summertime. Certainly not expected 74 degrees for tonight. A few passing showers with us early on and then for tomorrow 87 degrees storms likely a south wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll be looking at those storms fairly slow moving higher storm chances with us for Saturday, Sunday and Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That's when we'll settle into that typical pattern, but high is still saying just in the middle to upper 80s. Ben. Now put 